My name is Alistair Lee. In this video, we're going to take a look at reporting in Adobe Connect. There are actually a number of different reports that are available inside of Adobe Connect, including a reporting engine that brings together a lot of the different reporting functionality into one place. Before we take a look at this reports tab, though, let's take a look at where else we might find some of our reporting data. Let's start with Adobe Connect Meetings. I'm going to click on the Meetings tab here. I'm actually going to browse to my Shared Meetings tab and take a look at a room that I use a lot. This is a training room, so I'm going to click on the Reports link inside of my meeting. And I can see here on the front page some aggregate information. We've had 29 unique sessions, 946 invitees, 314 uh, people have attended, and a peak usage of 164. As I click on each one of these different pages, I can get more detailed information. I can see specifically who those attendees are. I can look at that by session, which is a little more valuable. So I can see here I've had lots of different sessions. If I click on one of these sessions, and I can look at each session by start, date, and time, I can see specifically who attended those sessions. And I can also take a look at the different questions that have been asked. And so if I click on an answer distribution, I can see specifically how people answered those questions. I've got an idea on this chart how many people answered each option for this poll question. If I go back and look at the viewer responses, I can see specifically who answered what. So that's a quick look at meeting reports, but it doesn't stop there. Of course, we've also got reports for training. So I've got a curriculum open up here inside of my training tab in Adobe Connect. And you can generate these reports both for a large curriculum or for a specific course. In this case, I've got a curriculum open and I'm going to click on the reports link. And again, the front page shows me some aggregate data. I can see how many individuals have been enrolled, how many have completed, and how many are in progress. As I click through the different options, I get more specific detailed information. I can see the specific individuals who've been enrolled in this and their progress through this particular curriculum. I can also look at that data from a course perspective. These are the different objects or learning resources I've got inside of my curriculum. And for each one of these learning objects, I can get more detail. For example, I can click on a specific page of the report for this differentiator's learning object to see how many users have taken this, what's the drop-off rate in terms of slides, how people are answering questions, again, looking at the viewer response or the user response for specific questions. This gives me some feedback in terms of how easy or hard some of my questions are. If you've got different versions of the content, you can look at this all, all by specific version when they were published, or look at it for all versions. So we've got reports for meetings and training. We've also got reports for events. My third tab here, I've got an event open. This is an event we held recently. And again, clicking on that reports tab gives me some aggregate summary data. I can see a little information about the event itself, how many people were invited, how many people registered and actually attended the event. In fact, I'm shown that information in a funnel in terms of the drop-off rate for my particular event. And as I click through each of the pages, I see more detailed information. I can actually determine and tell Adobe Connect what I think a qualified lead is based on how long somebody attended or how they answered registration questions or poll questions in my meeting. I can, of course, download all of these reports that we've looked at, meeting reports, training reports, and event reports. And this gives me a very detailed user information report with not only all of the attendees, but the questions they ask, the poll answers that they've given, along with a lot more information. I've got a campaign report. If I was using some marketing campaigns to promote my event through web banner ads, through social media, through email, I could see how effective each of those campaigns are. I can see how people answered those registration questions. Uh, if I've used polls in my event, I can look at the answers to those polls. And I can also see information in this event report about the content itself. For example, we've got an engagement report based on the engagement dashboard showing me the overall level of engagement for this particular event. This also shows me on the same page 
the usage of the chat pod and the Q&A pod, how many messages were given, how many questions were asked based on the questions that were, uh, or how many questions were answered based on the questions that were asked, how many people downloaded files from the file share pod if that was made available, how many people answered polls, set their status, and of course, when people attended. So a lot of information here in the events report as well. So we've looked at meetings, training, and events. One more place we can look at is under administration. And if you're an administrator, you do have access to a number of other reports. When I click on administration, I've got the ability to go to a reports page. And this shows me some information about the usage of the system in terms of training, meeting, events, as well as some downloadable reports and reports on the URLs that are being used. So if I click on one of these, for example, I can see the number of concurrent learners for a specific start and end time. And I can look at that either in days, weeks, or months. The meeting report shows me the number of peak concurrent users, which meeting rooms are being used and when. This is looking at it for this particular month. Event reports show me the number of events that are active, the registered users for each one of those events, and the start and end time. And of course, I can click on any one of these to get some more information. Downloadable reports give you links to download in a comma-separated value file format a lot of other administrative report information. And this custom URL report management is an interesting one. If you ever get a message saying the URL is already in use, you can see who's using it by typing in that URL and clicking search, and it will show you exactly how that URL is being used. So we've looked at meetings, training, events, and administration. Let's now finally go to the reporting engine that's built into Adobe Connect. And this brings in a lot of those same reports, a lot of that same information, but in a way that you can effectively customize this specifically for your needs based on time, based on other filters like users and groups, and actually determine what information should be included. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to click on the curriculum report here, but you can see we've got reports for content in the system, individual courses, curriculum, virtual classrooms that are being held on the system, meetings, learners, as well as system usage. We'll come back to that in just a second. So when I click on any one of these reports, I'm first asked to select the content itself, whether that's a meeting, a learner, a virtual classroom, or in this case, a curriculum. So I'm going to go ahead and select a course in my curriculum and hit Next once I've got that selected. And now I'm able to start filtering this to create a custom report, specifically what I'm looking for. I can filter that based on date range. So if I want this information for a specific financial quarter, for example, I can type in the dates of my fiscal quarters here. If I want to filter this based on specific groups, maybe I just want this for my sales team or my marketing team, I can also create these reports filtered by group. In addition to the filters, I can also determine what should be included in the report. This gives me the basics in terms of what's typically displayed in a curriculum report. If I've got customized fields as part of my Adobe Connect account, I can include those here as well. And I can choose what information I want to show up. So if I don't care about group, for example, I can remove that from the report that gets generated. In some cases, I've also got some options in terms of the type of report I'd like to generate. Once I've selected those filters, chosen the fields I want to include and set my options, I simply click the Create Report button and Adobe Connect pulls the database and generates this report. Now the database is synchronized uh, on a nightly level. That means the data could be up to one day behind. So this isn't real-time data we're looking at. We use a special reporting database to ensure performance is optimized. But you can see here I've got a report for the curriculum that we selected. So I've got some aggregate data up here at the top. It's the same data we were looking at before. Down below, I've got data specific to the individual users. And so I can see all of the individuals who have enrolled in this particular curriculum. And I've got the results for each one of those users. I can see the last time they accessed it. I can see all of the fields I asked to see as I was creating this report. And of course, I can download this to my desktop if I want to manipulate it in a 
Excel or another uh, spreadsheet program, I can do that. Let's go back to that reporting engine and take a look at one more type of report, and that's the system usage reports. So by default, this is showing me the individual usage for this particular account. But as I click the drop down arrow on this list box, you can see I can also see group usage reports, cost center usage reports, if I'm tracking the use of Adobe Connect by cost center, full system usage, that's a very helpful report to run, burst pack usage, recordings usage, mobile system usage to see how many people are accessing Adobe Connect through mobile devices as well as mobile device usage, if I want to see what devices are being used. I'm going to select the full system usage report. You can see there are no options when I select this and click Next. I've got the same ability to add filters to my report. I'm just going to click the Create Report button, and this will bring me back a full system usage report for Adobe Connect. I can see the entire usage across meetings, training, and events. So in this video, we've taken a look at a lot of different reports. We've got reports under the Meetings tab, Training tab, and Events tab, as well as Administration. But we've also got a reporting engine that enables customers to create their own custom reports based on the filters they've chosen, like dates and users and groups, as well as specific fields, what they want included in those reports, and reporting options. I hope you found it valuable. Thanks for your time.